Hello, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So last time I tried to do a ram pump potential video. It um, was like 30 degrees and I kept having my drive pipe pop out of the water or come off of the uh, pump. So I'm revisiting that and made some changes. So check this out. I've put more sticks over my drive pipe and put a rock there. Now down here, I've also got more rocks on top of the drive pipe. Delivery pipe's going to go back up the same hill as before. So then the pump, which is back in the same spot, also has rocks on the drive pipe. So let's get down there and start it and see how high up that hill we can get. There may still be a little air left in this thing. Whew. All right. Okay, made it up to 200 feet of hose. And this is our output. out of this inline check valve. Looking great. I would say that's at least a gallon a minute. So now let's try out the next 100 foot section. Well, that's the top of 300 feet and we're still going. I've got a 50 foot hose I'm gonna attach next and then I'll be out of hose. But uh, you can see way down there is our pond. And this is the flow we're getting. Still pretty serious. So, let me go find my 50 foot hose and we'll go some more. Before I was able to get my extra 50 foot, the pump has stopped again. I don't know if you can see it, but we are way up there past that evergreen tree. Let's see, there's our hose. So, Let's find out why our pump has stopped. Looks like the drive pipe is still in the water. So it must be something down here. Looks like the same problem as before. The pump gets so strong that it pulls the rubber gasket away from the pump. We'll see if we can tighten that guy down. Yep, that's the problem. Even though I tightened that down really well, it still pulls free. So, time to get a threaded connector, I believe, to stop that problem. Temporary solution, add more rocks. But watch how that pipe jumps. So, a more rigid pipe would make all the difference, and a much better connector, preferably threaded. All right, I added the next 50 foot of hose. That's all the hose I have. And that, through the course of a day, would still be a few gallons. So, I am very pleased with the potential of this pump. And there are all kinds of inefficiencies going on in my setup. But, that gazebo right there is between 12 and 14 feet high. And you could fit at least, like, three of them, maybe four of them, with where we are. So, we're up here pretty good. Um, yeah, I, mean, I don't even know how to begin to find this elevation, but uh, very pleased. Well, from up there, you could look out and see that you were higher than Homeboy's house. So, and that thing's up there, well above the gazebo. Anyway, I'm just going to assume 50 feet, so 12 feet into 50 feet, and uh, yeah, pretty good. Well that test was more successful than the last one, and a whole lot warmer. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
So after filming this video, I turned on my GPS and found out the elevation difference between the lake and that hill is 70 feet. So pretty impressive that 12 feet of head is able to produce 70 feet. Now if I were to use a much more rigid drive pipe and a much better connector to the pump, we would see even better results. If you like this video, do push the like button. It helps boost my videos and be sure to subscribe. I try to post at least one video every week. Now check out this video to the left. It's me installing a shutoff valve on a standard sized 55 gallon rain barrel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.